Taco Bell is at it again with some pretty clever marketing around its new or the return of its Mexican pizza product. And say what you want about the food of the, of the restaurant chain. Taco Bell has historically done some clever things around marketing. Do you remember the time when it did the, uh, the $10 subscription that allowed people to go in and get a, a taco a day? They were one of the first brands to test some of that uh, plant-based alternative meat kind of stuff, the Beyond Meat products. Um, taco Bell has this, has this uh, rich history, I'd say, of, of being able to bring things to market, take it away, and then build what, what is consumer demand. And, and one of the superpowers that marketers have, and, and if they don't have it, a strive, strive to get, is the ability to gauge demand before a product goes out. I think if you've read or listened to anything Gary Vaynerchuk, he always says that you... Uh, you don't need to have a company launch. You just need a following. And, and it's kind of true. You know, again, think what you will about uh, some of his stuff. But if you're able to have people love a product, a brand, so just some attribute or, or, or something, you can typically make a living or, or, or find some commercial value in it. And so the history of the Mexican pizza is, pizza is that it, it rolled out in 1985. So it's actually a pretty old product. Um, and, uh, you know, it, it's come in and out of, of Taco Bell's menu for years, made an appearance again at the start of COVID uh, in 2020. And then because of supply chain issues, they took it away. And part of the genius, of course, is going back to that ability to ability to kind of bottle demand and then unleash it whenever you want, which is a, a great thing that Taco Bell can do. And they've shown it with the demand of, of the, the Mexican pizza. The reason that they brought it back was, was actually... Um, a change.org petition that, that went out. And, and uh, I actually read a little bit of a uh, background on, on the origins of the petition. And I hadn't actually realized that uh, individuals who are vegetarian or who are plant-based, Taco Bell is actually a, a popular choice because in the world of fast food, there isn't a lot that vegetarians can, can actually go for that's fun and, and, and stuff like that. So Taco Bell is actually the choice. And then the Mexican pizza was this, this product that, that vegetarians all gravitated towards. Taco Bell's done a genius job of cloaking the return of the Mexican pizza with some other brand codes that are very much, uh, you know, a, a market segmentation kind of thing where they said that the, the reason they took it away is of uh, supply chain issues, but they've brought it back uh, having designed a better supply chain. One, they've, they've tried to make some stuff sustainable. Um, they've tried to do a lot of stuff around green, that I think is going to be so helpful in, in, in kind of attracting the kind of people that Taco Bell will want uh, to attract, uh, you know, with the return of the Mexican pizza, when it, you, you kind of think of the, the backstory with the veg vegetarianism, um, that kind of stuff. So um, I'm sure that the Mexican pizza like, has meat in it. There's a, probably a ground beef option, but um, uh, if you remove it, I remove the, the meat part, I think it becomes a, a fun vegetarian thing. So, Really clever. I think it, it's returning uh, May nineteenth. Some local stores are going to be able to. You're going to be able be able to order it May seventeenth. Uh, you know, supply pending, of course. And just a clever, another clever thing that the Taco Bell has done. I, you know, I was a, I'm a big fan of subscription models for businesses anyway. You know, struggling businesses can can actually get a decent leg up if they should. You know, if they're able to provide enough value to find some sort of subscription and, and that kind of consistent cash flow. Their subscription model was one that I thought was was clever. I don't know if it ended up working. Uh, the idea of a taco a day is, is, you know, there's a few people that I'm sure want that, but I don't know if the general public does. Uh, just watching them hold back and then re-release the Mexican pizza has been very interesting. Actually, another tidbit is during the the Super Bowl, uh, Taco Bell actually, uh, they released something that was like a, a mystery prize that the Taco Bell users could get. And... They, you know, in addition to relaunching the Mexican pizza, they've tied that back to that Super Bowl promo and the mystery prize that everybody could have got with that, you know, the Taco Bell mystery prize is actually a free Mexican pizza. So just another, uh, you know, the clever use of, of an editorial calendar at the end of the day, you know, tying things back to different things and, and uh, tempering demand and gauging demand and then releasing a product that they know is going to do well because they know that the demand is there. You can read it with the change.org petition.